it's Heather from Pretty Wigs to You. Today we are looking at a children's wig called Sarah by Ellen Villa. And this is in color Middle Blonde, okay? I do carry Ellen Villa. I don't always have them on my website, but if you are looking for one of their pieces, please reach out to me and I can order it in for you. Now, I adore their children's wigs. I think they are really well done. I like them better than the John Renault ones. As you know, I'm a huge John Renault fan, um, but I feel like their wigs, their children's wigs are not as great as they could be. Therefore, I really like the Ellen Villa ones. So, child size wig. This can also be for an adult. So if you are an adult with an extra small or very petite size head. So if you're a circumference of let's say 20.5 inches or smaller, then you could actually wear this wig. I am going to try it on for you so you can see what it looks like. It is very, very low density, which is perfect for a child's wig because they don't naturally have really thick hair. Um, even with my daughter, when I put her hair in a ponytail, like she only has this much hair around. So when there's too much hair in a especially a children's wig, it doesn't look or feel natural. So I really, really like this one. Now it is adjustable in the back, so you can make it bigger, bigger or smaller for the child. And this one has a lace front, which I love. The John Renault ones do not have lace fronts. So the lace front makes it look so natural, like their actual hairline. And so it's a wefted back and it has a monofilament section right here. So it's just this tiny section here. So this is where the part is going to be. So slightly off just to the left. So I'm going to show you when I put it on. And I love this color blonde, middle blonde. So, so nice and light density. It comes layered already. So I'm going to show you up close what this looks like. So the part can only be within this area right here. Okay, so that's a small section for the part. So it would be just to the left side. Okay, if you wanted to put this one in a little ponytail, you could. A lot of kids who wear wigs like to put them in a little bit of a ponytail. So you could put it in a lower pony. If you put it too high, you might see it, but you can build it up slowly. Okay, and as you can see, it's low density. There's not a whole lot of hair in here. Okay. And so you can even braid it to the side. You can just braid it just so a loose braid on the side here just to make it look a little bit more natural like you would be braiding your child's biological hair so you just do a nice little side braid and that looks really cute really natural if you if you're looking for a wig for your child there's lots of programs out there that will give uh, free human hair wigs to children so um, hair club for kids there's a few different um, organizations, depending on which country you're in, that will donate free wigs to children. If you need something right away and you cannot, sometimes it takes um, a couple weeks or a couple months to have a piece made from some of these companies. If you need something right away, a synthetic version, a synthetic wig like this one is a, a cheaper option and um, you can have it right away. These are usually available all the time, either uh, the Ellen Villa ones or the John Renault ones, okay? So this is um, a quick uh, fix if you need a wig right away, if um, whatever the circumstances may be. Now we also donate wigs to children through our Helper Hair Box program. I'll link down below. So you can fill out a form. If you're looking for a free wig, you can put in an application form. Or if you're looking for a free helper hair box, the helper hair box is a subscription box. Uh, we have one for women and one for children and they go out four times a year. They are themed for the season and it's filled with things to help 
uh, both women and children with their hair loss. So uh, sometimes there's headbands, there's hats, there's uh, new things to try that come out on the market, uh, hair accessories, and then there's usually some fun things in there as well. And we also donate the boxes. For every six boxes that we sell, we donate a box to a child with hair loss. And for every 12 boxes we sell, we donate a children's wig. So I'll put the link down below that you can fill out a request for a box or a wig and we'll try and get that out to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you need to purchase something right away, I will um, put my contact information down below where you can uh, reach me and we can get you a wig. Also, if you are a um, petite size adult and you're looking for a really nice, low density, um, small fitting wig, check out this one. Sarah, I think it's a really cute wig. Um, it's a little bit too small on me. I can I find it riding up. I'm a true average cap, so I'm a true 21.5 circumference. So it's a little bit uh, small on me, but I could still get away with wearing this. It's not, um, not too small at all. I'm going to show you what the sides look like. So these right here are the ear tabs. Right here. So even if you go to pull this back for your child, it still looks very natural, like a half up, half down. Some of you may or may not know, um, I have three children myself and my biggest fear as a mom was that I would pass my alopecia on to my children. So my two boys, their hair is fine, it's nice and thick, I cut their hair you know, every couple weeks and I'm always checking their scalp to make sure they don't have any spots because my alopecia started when I was just three years old. So I've pretty much had it my whole life, so I'm always on the lookout with my own children. When my daughter uh, was one year old, I noticed that she had some weird growth, some weird growth right here in the front of her head. And I, I mentioned it to her family doctor saying that I think it might be early st stages of alopecia, but they weren't the traditional bald spots like I had. And then we realized that she has been pulling her hair. So it's a medical condition called trichotillomania. So some adults and children pull out the hair out of their scalp, they pull out their eyebrows, their eyelashes. My daughter has been pulling out her front hairline right here and she's also been eating the hair. So some children or some adults also ingest the hair. So my child, um, she has it pretty bad. She pulls pretty bad. We try and uh, conceal her hands at night. We put little mittens in her PJs so that she doesn't pull and eat the hair because eating the hair can be dangerous. Um, you can get hairballs in your stomach and your body can't digest the hair. So uh, we don't want her eating the hair. Um, if she's pulling it, that's fine. If that's what um, she needs to do, it's kind of like a stress reliever. But um, I always try and put a little topper or wig on her in case um, if she pulls out too much hair that she'll have to wear a wig one day. Um, but she's still little, she's almost two years old, so she um, she's too little to wear a wig yet, I think. I don't recommend children wearing wigs until they're probably four plus. They just don't have the, they just don't like having anything on their head. Um, it's, it's itchy and irritating and foreign to them, so I always recommend um, if your child is in need of a wig, wait until they're at least four years old um, until they can get used to having something on their head. So that's just my little story with my daughter and um, my way of giving back to the hair loss community because I was a child with hair loss. Now, when I was a really young child, I didn't wear a wig either. I didn't start wearing them until I was in my early teens. So, but I did wear other things like um, I would wear bandanas and I would sew hair into the bandana uh, to cover my patches. My mom and I would get hair extensions and we would sew them into bandanas and make um, like makeshift toppers. But here is Sarah. She is a cute child's wig. If your child is experiencing hair loss and you don't know who to talk to, please reach out to me. I can listen and give you some advice and tips. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I have a ton of videos on John Renault wigs. If you're into looking at different styles of wigs, John Renault also has two 
um, children's wigs. They have one that is called Shiloh, which is a shorter um, wig, and they also have one that's called Ashley, which is a, probably about this length. And Ashley actually comes in um, the children's size, but it also comes in a petite, which is also um, some um, customers who have very tiny heads, they will often ask me to bring in a child's wig in a petite size. So if that's you, you can also wear one of these wigs. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate the time you took to watch this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so I know that people are watching and I can continue making these videos for you guys. Have a wonderful day. Take care.